you know, there's a poem by Mahmoud Darwish, Saqat al Qana'a, The Mask Has Fallen, in which he says, Ashla'una Asma'una, our shredded dead are our names. And to me, that makes me think of uh, Eduardo Galliano. He said, the difference between a grave and a tombstone. Mm. He said, the grave faces up vertically to speak to the sky. The tombstone looks out horizontally to speak to the living. Mm. And those of us that had proximity to that fire, through our loyalty and our commitment to those that passed, we are rendered walking tombstones. If the neoliberal consensus is dead, then Grenfell Tower must be its tombstone. Mm. We look at the assortment of companies involved in the process of the refurbishing of Grenfell Tower and the rendering it a death trap. We look at the PE Renabond cladding, six millimeters of polyethylene in the center, placed on it by a company called Arconic. This is a US construction company that has also worked on the F-35 fighter jet with Lockheed Martin and BAE Systems. That is a fighter jet that Benjamin Netanyahu used recently to threaten Iran with. If the solidarity exists between the people that died in Grenfell Tower and Gaza or, and people around the world, then it can exist through linking together that company that made the F-35, which is going to wreak death and destruction upon people's lives, but the same company that put that cladding on the building. We need to foster critical thinking about corporate power within our societies, because that is, in a sense, the uh, invisible governments of our time.